This is the Just West Show. I'm saying things and you listen. I know these lyrics suck. If they were good, I wouldn't be doing vlogs. Hello, my awesomes, once again to another Friday vlog. Nothing out of the ordinary, except for the fact that it's, uh, Saturday. Didn't, didn't check my calendar this week. I would have, but it broke. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Let's start over again. Hi, my name's Wes, and you are... Oh, oh yes, a very interesting name, yes. What is this, Dora the Explorer? I am unfortunately filming a day late. Not that anyone follows the schedule but me, but still, it's my schedule and I like to stick to it. The reason this video is coming out a day late is because Friday is my one day off amongst, um... A few days of work. I have to work Wednesday and Thursday and then I get Friday and then Saturday and Sunday are usually pretty hectic so I just decided that I wanted a lazy day um, to just do whatever without being stressed out about trying to get out a video on time for you guys. Not that the videos I make for you aren't the most important thing in my life but they're not. That doesn't work out at all. Let's start over again. So today, rather than giving you a story off of the internet or the TV or some um, fancy media type thing with wires and tubes and um, magical Wi-Fi, I actually have a story from real life that I thought you would find mighty entertaining. Yes, I just said mighty entertaining. God, I'm old. So at work, we have some of these newspaper doohickey thingies. And about a month back, some hoodlums decided to kidnap our doohickey thingy that magically dispenses newspapers to the world. And we moved on. You know, we found a new dispensary that would do the same job. We just assumed that the other one had uh, been on an airplane and uh, crashed into the ocean and everyone had died. And as it turned out, it was actually on a um, island for a long time talking to volleyballs and everything. Wait, that's the movie Castaway. What actually happened happened to me this morning. As I was driving to work, I stopped at a stop sign. And as I was looking both ways, as safe drivers do, I also look up when I'm looking left and right just in case a meteor decides to come down and kill me. But that's just me. So I looked to my left and uh, by the guardrail, I saw a newspaper dispensary machine, and I thought to myself, what the raspberry sauce is this doing here? If you don't get the raspberry sauce joke, instead of saying fuck, I will now officially say raspberry sauce. There, you see, I, I showed you the video uh, where I first mentioned that, so that you will be tuned into the inside joke of the raspberry sauce. Isn't that handy? So I was looking at it as I was there at the stop sign, and I'm like, you know, what are the chances that this is the exact same dispensary from my work? I just thought it was funny that it magically disappeared and then um, a month later it just pops up on the side of the road when I'm going to work. What was the purpose of having it for that month? Did they try turning it into an Easy Bake Oven? That's for newspaper dispensary only! No cookies! And definitely no brownies or cake. How ridiculous. You shouldn't look at me like that, it makes me self-conscious. So just a few things before I wrap up the show, guys. The first part might pertain to my Facebook people a little bit more, since I know some of you went to school for this kind of thing. I made a song about Denny's called the Denny's Hate Song on this channel, and I think it would be a million times better if it had music with it. The only problem is I searched all the sites where I can get free, you know, background music, and none of it just fit, so I had to put it up um, a cappella, which is horrible if you've ever heard me sing. But so if anyone can do some uh, piano music, I have a good idea of what I want. It'd be really cool if I could re-release it with that on there. You know, give you credit and maybe it'll uh, get more recognized with that. And now I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna have to fill up your screen with some annotations. Up at the top here, you'll be able to get a direct link to the latest Like Dog video. As you might know, he's my partner here on YouTube, and he's got some very entertaining stuff over there. And also over here, I'm gonna give you a link to Patrick J's channel. If you don't know who he is, he does some stuff like MMO crap and, and a Monster Hunters thing. They do some pretty funny stuff. And they also have some cool stuff on their channel other than that. And Patrick is nice enough to uh, promote me on his his next upcoming video. Next upcoming. I kind of outdid that there, didn't I? Patrick, you know, is a really awesome guy, and he doesn't have a lot, but he likes to entertain. He loves to entertain people more than anything else. He is a crazy son of a bitch, and I'm not just giving his channel attention to, you know, um, give back to the fact that he's promoting me. Obviously, he has a lot more subscribers than me, so uh, that's not really a fair trade. I just every now and again want to let you guys know about other channels that are out there on YouTube that you might not have come across and that I'm subscribed to. Anyways, awesomes, I hope very much to see you next Friday. I'll be here making sure that no meteors hit me until then. I'm Just Wes, this is the Just Wes Show, and you guys are awesome. <laughs>